And just like that, we're back on Sister Circle Live. He's R&B royalty, and we've literally watched him grow up in manhood and music. Please welcome back down to the circle, the one and only, oh so talented, Sammy! Yay! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for How you doing, me. Sammy? Good morning. Okay, Woo. Sammy, now you, you got on all these here clothes like yes. an Eskimo. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I like to stay warm. But you don't like to stay warm down to the Instagram. The oh. people saw you down to the Instagram oh. working oh, out. Wow. Well, see, you're not warm oh. there. Oh, you got to have. You, uh, you warm, yeah. you but you're warm your, in a different kind of concept. <laughs> and you get, and he's, <laughs> see, he's doing it you appropriately. You're getting us warm. My form is good, though. Yeah, it is. You're doing it appropriately. When you came up, you squeezed. You know, and that's what you're supposed to do. Down, you gotta you gotta squeeze the well, Kinda, okay. Right? So, yeah. what is the basis? Uh, what the premise? <laughs> what is your fitness routine like? We saw there it must be leg day. Okay, yeah, that was leg day. So, Shout out what to my is trainer, Justin Miller. You, you feel mm -hmm. me? Now, what um, what is your fitness routine like? Are you five days a week? Yeah, Are five you days. Four uh, to six. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, heavy lifting. Wednesday, I box. What's your goal? Like, what do you try? Is it for um, a video? I mean, or well, I'm going on the Millennium Tour 2020. We take uh, off yeah. Friday. Ooh, that's so oh, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you're in the back. Yeah. Together right I just want to be able to be ready. ready. You know, I want to take off my shirt. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna my, happen. It's all for the ladies. But mm -hmm. and then I'm I just I'm turning 33 in a couple weeks. Got to take care of you. So I'm trying to take well. care of my temple. You know, I'm getting older. So Health father well. time is inevitable. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like the gym. It keeps me aligned. Everybody, yeah. Yeah, mentally too. Yeah. Stimulation. You're still keeping it tight. Yeah, keep I'm trying to keep it together. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep it together. But well, you were just talking about the tour, the Millennium Tour. Yeah, and we take off. We go to Louisville, Kentucky this weekend and. Uh, Indianapolis also. Oh, I okay. like this hair. So what, what excites you. you the most what about this tour? Uh, what's so amazing is that, um, excuse me, for the first one, I wasn't on it, and I was the first child star of my era and generation, so I feel like I earned my stripes. I went on a yeah. solo tour in June of last year and sold out, and uh, I think that people took notice to that, and I'm mm -hmm. just happy to leave my mark, man, and rock with Amarion and Bow Wow, Soldier Boy. That's going to be great. It's going to be crazy. You're going to be awesome on, on so, that. So, yeah, I'm excited oh, about it. It's going to be super yeah. fun. I'm excited yeah. for you. Exactly. Listen, Sammy, so what's been one of the routines that has kind of been with you throughout the course of your, um, of your career on tour? So one oh, thing that's that easy. you do? Um, taking my spiritual journal with me and mm -hmm. my Bible, actually. You uh, read the Bible. Oh, oh yeah, I love yeah. God. I wouldn't be where I'm at today without, you know, being spiritually aligned and the many right. blessings that he bestows and upon I'm me. And I'm happy that's that right. you're that's being right. vocal about that. Yeah, that's my so job. Many you know, don't. I, I think because I'm in secular, the secular world, they think yes. that we shouldn't talk about God. Yeah. But any yeah. chance I get in any platform, I'm blessed to do it. That's I'm going right. to praise his name. Come on. Come on, Al. The devil is alive. Yeah, yeah. Nobody Well, you're talking about everything else, like sending nudes. I'm just saying I don't. The EP, send nudes. Okay name of the EP mm -hmm. and put it out in December. What it means is we've been taught in this generation to filter out our blemishes, um, mm. to uh, block out our imperfections. Um, I'm not for that. I'm all about making mistakes out loud, growing out loud, yeah, loving so see, out loud. Deeper, it's a deeper... Yeah, like same news is just being like naked. Just be like honest. Just be just open. This is, this yeah, is me. Don't just post your highlights, you know what I'm saying? That's Enjoy the process is. also. So that's really yeah. what it's about. And it's some real honest, vulnerable... Um, sexy, sensual music. That's right. Now, being on tour with a lot of different people is normally really, um, it can be hectic. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things you're looking forward to learning from the different artists on the tour? I mean, you all are kind of the same, pla same right. you know, the same plane, but you can always, you know, get something from somebody's show. What yeah, are you looking I think to learn? What's, I think what's dope uh, about this lineup, um, I'm, I'm entering my 20th year, uh, so is Amarion, so yeah. is Bow Wow, so I, mm -hmm. I guess to watch those guys and their evolution, you know what I'm saying, you can pull something yeah. from it yeah. takes a level of focus for us to be able to, uh, I guess, evolve from being child stars to teenage mm -hmm. heartthrobs yeah. and now being taken seriously as grown up men. men. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, I think that's admirable. And, and shout out wow. to those guys. Like, it's been a journey. Looking at that is crazy. That was wow. 2005. I just had like graduated five. high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's what I'm looking forward to is just watching how those guys navigate and move mm -hmm. to day in and day out. Mm -hmm. Well, new tour, yep. new music, yep. new EP. Yep. But what what is your focus? What is the thing that you are trying to concentrate on? And what do you want your, your new adult audience to get from you? I'm big on ownership now and diversifying my portfolio. I actually just launched a candle line yesterday. Yeah, we um, have that in common. Yeah, yeah. candle line. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I got y'all a package on the way, oh, by the way. Oh, good. I love candles. Pure love, pure honey. Uh, you can go to poppinpearlcandle.com Pop and order them. Yeah, it's like a that. location out in Kanye's. You've and got then some we're names. Another Pop and one. Pearl. News, <laughs> Pop and Pearls. Pop and Pearls. Y'all yeah. better be careful when y'all pop them so, pearls, so, I tell you. So Why I just want to diversify my portfolio, <laughs> you know, and become a mogul. It's time for the next Diddy, That's the next Jay-Z, so I want to mm -hmm. do it. Okay, why candles? Good. 
I'm a candle lover, and it just makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You can play a Sammy album and then light a Sammy candle. It's kind of like a, it makes sense. why not? Oh, yes, yeah, it's a whole thing. You so do the bundles when so, you want oh, to? Of course, like of course. I got t-shirts, I got candles, I got hoodies, I got dad hats, all kinds of merch. What's a dad hat? What's a dad hat? It's like a, it's like a dad hat. I can't explain it, but all dads wear them, though. <laughs> 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 it's it's like it's like a, it's just a dad hat. I can't explain. It's not it. the red bottom hat. Nah, but it says Sammy in the front, and all dads wear them at like the it's soccer games. It's just a games. hat that's very square. Yeah, you go. It's like oh, a like hat a baseball cap. Yeah, yeah, and it was very down. That. It's very yeah. There we go. That's oh, and it says dad hat. No, no, mine says Sammy. It says Sammy. <laughs> but most dads wear it. It's not a cool, like, snapback. It's That's a, just a term. Like it. term that they use. Oh, They're not here. Yes. I'll be trying yes. to get them. Oh, I'm, I'm not help. familiar I'm with trying to dad figure it all out. Yeah. My dad's hats always look like, like, like Tommy Bahamas. Yeah. Or something like, yeah. Mm. It's a little I remember no, those dads. The Von Dutch. It's definitely not Von Dutch. Well, I, I had a Von Dutch bag. bag. All of that. We're having such a great time with you. And Thank if you're sticking me. around for the full hour, we're keeping Sammy around. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're not, no worries. You can catch up with him on Instagram at Sammy always That's right. to find out when the Millennium Tour is coming to your city. And don't forget the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. And you know how to do that smile is real good, too. Mm. I was oh, just yeah, seeing that. All right, and just like that, we are back with R&B crooner Sammy. Yes, 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 Great yes, to have yes. You here. Thank y'all for Sammy having me. Sammy is telling the people to send nudes. That's he right. really it's is. Available in all digital formats. <laughs> but listen, I want to know, like, how has your message, and um, your message and your sound changed over the course of your career? Um, of course, just uh, experiences itself. Uh, I've lived a pretty good life. I've been a great boyfriend. I've been a terrible boyfriend. I've had mm. my heart broken. I've broken a heart or two. Mm -hmm. So I just take all those experiences and I put it in my music and I think that's what makes me so relatable. Um, I'm more intentional also and purposeful in everything I do. So my music is actually like, uh, it's, it's made for your spirit. It's yeah. not really just a trendy thing. I'm here to be forever. I'm trying so to I, say uh, something. Yeah, timeless. And when you that break matter. the girl's heart, Sammy, uh -huh. do you call you them up and apologize to them <gasps> for breaking their I've heart? I've always taken accountability for where I fell short. Yeah. Well, Miss Quaddy said he had his heart broken too. Yeah, she saw I, she skipped that part. You see how he's she just he painted me out to be this terrible guy. <laughs> and then he said it was yeah, him. Now you're a terrible guy. I, I, I have also yeah. had my heart broken. Did, did she call you and apologize? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Women Girl, don't say call sorry. Call you know, women don't apologize. Women don't say sorry. broke his heart and yeah. then said some news. What about my heart? What about my feelings? I, I got you, brother. I told him <laughs> call and apologize today no, and I then send news. No, I take send news. No, I take accountability when I do wrong, though. No. Okay, well, speaking of accountability, the Instagram is uh, <laughs> never accountable for nothing that they do. Okay. <laughs> and so recently, you just responded to somebody that, you know, a troll down to the Instagram, one of the miserable ones. Yeah. Um, and you had to get them together about your career. Mm -hmm. Now, even though you're very young, you still came in the game where that wasn't really the case. We didn't have all this no. Instagram and people all down reporting live from your business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... How do you address this type of negative energy mm. now as opposed yeah, to yeah. how we used to ward it off? I actually felt no way about it except the one thing that I specified on. It was a black man putting another black man down. Mm -hmm. That was the whole point of the post. I don't care about a troll or a hater. Like, I live a beautiful life. I'm fruitful. I have an abundance of blessings. So it wasn't like it? he didn't bother me at all. It was mm -hmm. more like if you utilize whatever time it took you to say whatever you said to hmm. me hmm. and put it into a gift that God has given you or a tool mm -hmm. or a craft or a trade, mm -hmm. you'll be better off in life. You won't even have time to troll somebody. Is that what you told them? That's it. You told yeah, them right. Just get, you, 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 you use time, this energy and put it towards something positive. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And that's all I was trying to like that's put a more game about. I don't care nothing about no haters though. I'm gonna ask you a question that just might get you the pull surprise. Uh oh. Because what do you think the major misconception is from people that are outside of the industry. What, what do you think the major misconception mm -hmm. that they have for people that are in the industry? Yeah, they don't think we don't, we don't, they don't think that we're human. Mm -hmm. I think social media, though, has showed just how mm -hmm. human celebrities and public figures are. Mm -hmm. We put our clothes on the same way. We feel the same way. We hurt the same way. And that's why so much, uh, I think, anxiety and depression and mental health issues these days is because now everyone has a voice. People that didn't have an outlet to be negative mm -hmm. and say these hurtful things to celebrities that mm -hmm. Quote unquote, they looked up to. Now mm -hmm. they can do it for likes and attention. So I don't. I think we just need to understand that we are all love and here to love and here to be, uh, just fruitful yeah. and give off peace and give off light. They that's, don't think that we have feelings. You know, what I'm saying that's, I think really that's the good biggest that misconception. You, that you said that. Um, and I'm really happy. I think if more celebrities kind of stepped up and mm -hmm. been very vocal about how people are treating them or how we feel about certain right. things, then it'll be a lot different. Just calling them out right. in a positive way. With that being said, what? How, what how do you feel about what Boosie said about Zaya? 
Um, everyone has a right Depends to their opinion. Way. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, it's about how you shake things. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, I'm just big on mine and my business. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yes. Like what D Wade is the one that pays you. Yeah, mm-hmm. what D Wade has going on or what Boosie has going on that doesn't affect Sammy's life. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So certain things for me personally, I see everything, but I don't vocalize no. uh, my opinions because it's my opinion and, and it's not my business. Yeah. So I'm big on just honing just in or in just staying lane. in your lane. You know what I mean? And see, and that, that that, that's a good place to start. Yeah. But it speaks to what we were just speaking about, what Trina asked about, you know, the biggest misconception. I think that people, they think that because my, my, my life is on Instagram or, yeah. or my pictures are on Facebook or whatever the case may be, that you are you have ownership to my mm-hmm. business. Right. Entitlement. Um, right. Entitlement to my right. business. That, and so people feel like they example. can interject. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what is your thought? What, what, you know what? Since we own the, we own this, mm-hmm. what did you think about the situation with Gail King and um, Lisa Leslie in I love, reference to Kobe yeah, Bryant? I first, let me say you're rest in peace, Kobe, Kobe Bryant. Bryant. I yeah. have 24/8 tatted behind my ear, uh, mm-hmm. which means to me he lived his life 24/8. You know, not yeah. 24/7. He went over and beyond. Rest in peace to uh, the seven souls that lost their lives. Also, GG. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't like that. I think that uh, you had 14, 15 years while he was alive and breathing if you wanted to speak mm-hmm. on such content. Mm-hmm. Uh, let his legacy go out in a positive light. His wife is grieving, his family's grieving, fans are grieving. I cried like like mm-hmm. a baby the first mm-hmm. time I got the news. So um, I, I didn't like the delivery and I thought it was not as uh, tasteful as she may have thought it was. Mm-hmm. I didn't like it at all. And what do you think that his legacy why, what is the biggest, the most important thing about Kobe Bryant's legacy? I mean, we all, we all know about the Mamba mentality. Yeah. But what was his legacy from your point of view? I love that he showed. He was very private in his life, right? As far as his craft, and he didn't party, he didn't drink, he didn't smoke, right? He was like mm-hmm. the goat as far as his right. craft. Mm-hmm. But he was very vulnerable and open about being a husband mm-hmm. and a father and a great father mm-hmm. and a great husband. And he made mistakes and he owned that too, you know yeah. what I mean? But you can tell he loved Vanessa Bryant, he loved his four kids. Mm-hmm. And I think growing up as a young black man, we need more of that, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? To show that it's okay to be married and have yeah. union right. and it's okay Absolutely. to have kids and be you know, relevant in their lives. So yeah. I like that he exuded that and I miss Kobe and um, I'm getting emotional talking oh about Oh my God, yeah. I love this grown well, up family. I, mean, I, I like this a lot. Well, we, we miss Kobe too, but yeah, we're so excited to have you down here. And thank y'all for having me. And oh, we thank you so much for hanging out with us. You can get Sammy's new single, uh, Sin News, <laughs> on all digital streaming platforms. And on top of all of that, you can catch him on the Millennial Tour, which That's kicks right. off in Louisville, Kentucky on Saturday.